there are two types of compression ratio, 1. Static compression ratio, 2. Dynamic compression ratio. Static compression ratio, it's the standard compression ratio that we calculate, it is the ratio of total volume to clearance volume. Whereas dynamic compression ratio is, the ratio that takes into account gases entering and exiting the cylinder during compression phase, so specifically DCR is the compression ratio after intake valve is closed. So, how can we change the compression ratio? 1. To increase the static compression ratio. Reduce the cylinder diameter or increase the length to bore ratio. Static compression ratio. Increase the cylinder diameter or decrease the length to bore ratio. Some more parameters are, changing the cylinder head. Using super or turbochargers. Or changing gasket parameters. For DCR. To increase slash decrease dynamic compression ratio, one should first note that DCR is always less than SCR. DCR comes to act only if variable cam timing is used, unless the DCR is fixed, also DCR does not change at any time during the operation of engine. Thus by arranging the closing of inlet valve we can control the swept volume and thus increase slash decrease in compression ratio. Note. Higher CR means engine is capable to extract more mechanical energy from a given mass of AFR. But CR higher than required may lead to detonation or knocking. In short if an engine has high CR it means that a given volume of A F ratio in the cylinder is being squeezed into a much smaller space than an engine with lower CR.